We hooked up and later got to know that we were cousins. And I farted and pooped on the bath mat. My brother-in-law tried to have sex with me. I ended up hitting him with my car in his driveway. She's looking for advice. I don't have advice. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe leave your husband so he can find somebody who's not in love with his brother. I tasted my earwax one day. It was no. salty and quite bitter. No. Just one of those. <laughs> Hi. Hey. It's Sarah and Lo Beeston, your Fairly Odd Sisters. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Please don't make me do it again. Okay, welcome back to the Fairly Odd Sisters. We are here and we are going to dive deep into confessions in this episode. Woo! We, honestly, it's been a dream of mine to do confessions i've seen it on some people's instagram stories where people tell their confessions it's pretty scary to open up that door if i'm being honest yes and they get i they're so some of them are so out there that you're just some of those we choose not to put in here because (laughs) they're too scary like some of them are scary but um yeah so i'm excited to jump into that um further down in this episode I'm a little nervous too. <laughs> it's funny though, because obviously we know when we're putting it on our Instagram and it's completely anonymous, we are opening the door up for, for sure. hate, for some love too, yeah. and really scary things because you are because unknown. It's anonymous. You can say whatever <laughs> and we don't know who it is. I, I don't think I like re- had that realization when we posted it. I just mm-hmm. was expecting confessions mm-hmm. and then I... Some of these rocked my world today. Saw some, yeah. <laughs> saw some scary stuff. Yeah. So let's, um, that's going to be really fun. I did want to open up about what's going on in the bachelor world. Oh yes. Currently, because it's just hard. I, I was telling you earlier, it's just hard coming straight out of the golden bachelor mm-hmm. where the girls got along so well. Everybody was so genuine. The relationships were real. And then jumping straight into Joey season, who Joey, number one bachelor. He is by far my favorite bachelor. He's so good. But then we have the dumbest drama I've ever seen. Some of the dumbest. Just kidding. No, No. they're not dumb, but just they're creating things that are nothing out to something. I don't know how it's a talent that they have. I can't believe it. And I get that like they don't have other phones. They don't have social media. They don't have any other outlet other than to compare themselves to each other and to fight for one guy. I get that. And it's combined with alcohol and pressure from producers. And they're on TV. And Mm -hmm. then the producers are whispering in their ear, like your connection is more special, whatever. But this drama is literally so dumb. It's junior high. Some of the stuff that the girls are getting offended about, I don't even understand because they're just taking something that like in Maria's case, the girl that's involved in all the drama, whatever she said, how they, how even the mean girl said it, whoever got mad, it wasn't even a big deal. No, she was just saying, I don't even think Maria was being mean. She was just saying that Medina needed more to be confident with her age because she's hot and she deserves to, in a way it was a compliment. She was trying to say, that's a positive Uh that you're that age. I think he would be more attracted to that. And she wasn't even saying mean stuff. Yeah. And, and then Sydney was like, oh, I heard a name. Like, Mm -hmm. let me start this drama. Yeah. And, oh, the worst part about this is Joey as the bachelor is hearing two different sides and he doesn't actually know what's going on. No. It's so frustrating because if you could just see what we see, you would easily send home Sydney or he did, but the girls right away because people are telling him two different stories and it's complete opposite stories. Yeah. Obviously someone's lying, but he doesn't know who it is. Yeah. And it's frustrating too, because you have, you have, we're only seeing what the producers are letting us see right Mm -hmm. now. There's, there's people that are speaking out. I know Sydney made like an Instagram post Mm -hmm. saying, I can't speak on this right now. Like I'm Uh bound to whatever the show doesn't let me talk right now, but things are going to come to light. Mm -hmm. So I know we're only getting the side the producers are sharing, but I'm just confused on what, yeah could have gone on that we didn't see yes that wasn't recorded yeah. that wasn't shared yeah. it just seems so dramatic I, just, to me. I feel extra protective because i think joey is just a really stand-up guy yeah and it sucks like on charity season he he was the runner-up and throughout the whole thing he was my favorite guy in there and i don't understand how she let him go but 
I just, he's such a good guy. You can tell has a really good heart. He listens really well to the girls and it sucks to see him like dragged down by all of this. Yeah. And I might be a little biased though, because he does, he's lived in Hawaii, right where we lived for the last seven years. He plays tennis, obsessed. I actually want to play tennis with him. No, we Joey, could, we're calling you out. Come on the pod. Joey, please come play on the pod. tennis with we Sarah. Can, see if you can beat her. You can't. Just kidding. He probably can't. <laughs> no. he, he's been coaching. I only coached for two years, so. Yeah, but. <laughs> I think he's got some Sarah's on me. Sarah's a collegiate athlete, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we do want him on the pod. Yeah, That'd we want you so on the pod fun. because we love you and we hope that you're happily engaged right now. I can't see him not being happily engaged I, because he fits well with so many girls. That's the thing about Joey is every time he goes on a one-on-one, I'm, I'm like, you're so compatible with mm-hmm. everyone. Like everyone he yes. has ke- chemistry with. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. There's, yeah. it just feels like there's so many front runners for uh-huh. me because he has so much chemistry with, yes. I feel like he could marry anyone. He really could. He could make it work with anyone. Honestly, <laughs> every date you're like, wait, I like yeah. her with him, but yeah. it's every date. Yeah. So yeah, it's a green flag though. I think his biggest green flag is that he's such a good listener. Yeah. And that's huge for women. Yeah. I think if, Women can feel heard and validated. I think that's true for men and women. <laughs> yes. If both yes. can feel heard and uh-huh. listened to, it is just I just a green think flag. it's more common for men to not be as the good listeners. of that's a hot take. Yeah. But I think a lot of men it's hard for them to hear to tap into that. And tap into that yeah, really listening to your good. feelings because girls have a lot of feelings. Yeah. He's very good at that. Yeah. Anyway. And I think that they should take a page out of Love Island's TV show where halfway through the season they show clips from the beginning mm-hmm. of the season so that everyone can see who's lying and who did this yeah. and who did that. They can see true colors come out. And if the bachelor took that and put that in their show, I think that it would just be freaking amazing. 99 problems solved. Yes. Like it's always so frustrating because anytime there's drama within two people, like Maria and Sydney, mm-hmm. Maria, Roll back the tape. At this point, it's like <laughs> neither of those people are going to make it to the end. Yeah. The second there's drama with the two people, yeah, they're on the two on one date, you're done. Like it's never them that makes mm-hmm. it to the end. And I think Maria knows that. And it's a bummer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Maria definitely knows mm-hmm. that. If you've ever seen the show, you know that the you're two on one date, you're okay, done. I'm involved. I'm not going to be here till yeah. the end. You and kind I, of know. I actually loved on the, the two on one, Maria sat down next to Sydney and just straight up looks at her and says, you know we're on camera, right? Yeah. You you know that this is all getting recorded. filmed. Everything that you're saying is being recorded. And honestly, the biggest thing with Sydney that annoyed me was how over dramatic she was with everything. Saying, I'm going on a date with the devil. That is so dramatic. <laughs> Can so we dramatic. not go to that? extent and every situation <laughs> she was like i have to walk away from the situation i just need to get out and i'm like you're the one that started it with her yes. and then she you're runs calling away her when she's in the hot seat and she yeah. confronts you about it and then you have mm-hmm. to run away because you're yeah. in a hostile environment yeah. i don't know about that i don't know either i, I don't know about me. that i know we're not seeing everything but yeah just i, I don't know. you know what i else i don't like sorry this is kind of turning into a sydney roast. <laughs> sorry sorry <laughs> sorry no it's fine. sorry about that sorry about that um I don't like when people are um, confronted one and run away, but I don't like when they say, they ask for specifics. You say, you just called me a bully. Can you explain to me, like Maria asked, what I did to bully How you. I am a bully. And then that's when they get up and walk away because yeah. they don't know what to say. <laughs> like you don't and know so, how to. Give me an example yeah. of how I've made you feel this way and I'd feel better about it. But yeah. it's. She had nothing to say. I know. So I just feel bad Maria got pulled into this dumb drama, yeah. created out of nothing, mm-hmm. and now she's Here probably she not going to make it to the end. The good news about this is everyone is seeing what's happening on, and but everyone imagine, seems like they're team Maria. Imagine you could yeah. see halfway through the producers. Can the producers just throw Joey a line? They just love can it. Can they throw him a line and be like, I've seen what I, I've seen everything. Mm-hmm. This is what happened. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you the truth. I know they don't want to put their hand in anything. They want it to happen the way it's supposed to. But sometimes I'm like, man, the producers literally have the scene. And then they're like, we're your best friend, Joey say whatever. But I'm like, you're not telling him. I think it would create a very interesting (laughs) segment to have him watching what's actually happening. They need to do that. So he can confront instead of being like, I don't know who's telling the truth when the producers are sitting there filming knowing. I know. (laughs) Anyway. Okay. Anyway, that's our little back party dive. (laughs) Yeah. Moving on. Let's update you guys on what's going on in our life. A few things happened this week. 
We had some big, like one day that just changed our whole life. Yeah. <laughs> Tanner made some decisions. Tanner made some changes. You know, Tanner, he's obsessed with change. He does anything to do the change. I'm the most scared girl of change. <laughs> so you won't catch me doing the stuff that he does. But it's really fun because I feel like I'm married to a million different versions of somebody. Tanner got a haircut and it was on the day of, we were trying to go to this event we were running late and I'm calling Tanner. He tells me that he's just leaving and starts saying, I just look so dumb. This is the worst haircut I've ever had in my entire life. He's being really dramatic and he's not normally dramatic. He's very, this is this out is of out character of, yeah. for him. And he's telling me that was the worst haircut experience of my life. Um, it just turned out so bad. I look so dumb and I was telling him, okay, well, worst comes to worst, you can shave your head. And he was like, I don't want to shave my head. I just want somebody to fix it. Like he was just <laughs> mad. And I was just kind of taken back. And he was like, I'm normally I can brush this stuff off. I usually don't care, but I'm just so mad right now that my hair just is so dumb. And I'm like, okay, I'm really sorry. Thinking in my head, this is going to be the worst haircut I've ever mm. seen in my life. This is going to be You're so bad. You're thinking it's completely botched. Yeah. And I couldn't even picture what it could be uh -huh. because I'm like, what did they do to, <laughs> to your hair? I just don't understand. And so he's so sad. He's just bummed out, just thinks that his hair is the worst that could ever be. And, he and went, he, he's already late and we're going yeah, we're to stressed. an event. He so has Ozzy with him. We're waiting for Tanner to come to our house so he can drop Ozzy off at our house and come with Derek and I. And he walks in the door and he... <laughs> kind of what Lo is saying just so my haircut looks so bad and I'm sitting there thinking is is this the haircut because it looks really good he walks through the door and Derek and I and our nanny Megan all thought it was amazing so it was just funny that he came in just so sad it was fixed I will say it was fixed a little bit weird like they styled through. it weird. they styled it a little but you could tell it was a good haircut yeah so he goes, I'm going to go take a shower. <laughs> just so, mad. so stressed. And he goes in, takes a shower. He fixes it on his own, comes out. Looks, um, really, looks good. really good. Looks really good. And we all are just kind of telling Tanner what you're being a little dramatic. What is <laughs> this is a bad haircut because it looks good. No, I straight and, up. I couldn't believe it. When I got in the car, I pointed at him. I was like, this this is what yes. you said was the bad haircut. I was like, it looks so yes. good. And he's like, yeah. So everyone, everyone told me that. I think I was just being a little dramatic. <laughs> After five out of five people <laughs> tell him it looks good. He, he started to believe us. Yeah. The funny thing is when we were on the way down, I said, what, what did you show her to like a picture or what did you to do the haircut? Yeah. He shows the picture and it looks almost identical to what he has. So the girl did really good. Literally, I looked at the picture and I was like, this looks exactly like the picture you showed her. It looks really Claps good. for the girl. She and did a so, good job. And so he's, I think he was just flustered and she was kind of saying things like, oh, that wasn't good. I that think she wasn't, wasn't confident. Cut. She wasn't very confident. Which is scary when so he was cutting. feeling stressed. She and his hair stressed. had gotten pretty long. Yeah. So it's scary to go from really long short to like the short and look. have someone go oh i cut off too much there yeah or, because they had like a perfect canvas to start with you have all the hair to, that you need and then yes. when you're hearing that cuts are wrong or bad and yeah at one point <laughs> he said she cut a piece and then said oh that's a little uneven yeah mm, how do i mm. fix that yeah <laughs> that's scary so when you're feeling like this is maybe their beginning of their career yeah. in the haircut <laughs> she dropped her scissors a few times uh i could see how but he was scared but looking at the haircut, a good haircut so claps to her yeah. for making a good haircut looking at the funny. haircut versus his reaction, his reaction they're was two separate the, yeah two separate things and it was so out of character because tanner never is like that he's yeah. doesn't care about his hair he will shave it he'll do whatever yeah. and so hearing this dramatic side i was like it must be terrible yeah because he doesn't, he's not dramatic with this kind of stuff. He likes he doesn't it care. now too, which is Yeah, he so loves funny. it. He loves his hair. Anyway. He just needed a few people to hype him up. Yeah, he just needed to style it on his own. He said, in his defense, he said that when she styled it, one side was like poofed out and one side was like slicked back. And he It just, did look a little interesting walking in. <laughs> a little skew walked <laughs> <laughs> So not I think as, near as bad as how he I was I think after he styled it, he realized, okay, this is mm -hmm. actually yes. a good cut. She just, yeah, didn't know where his calyx yeah. were, I guess.
Yes. But other funny thing. Other funny thing. We go to this event and uh of course. Of course. The event is at a bar, a brewery, and um Lo and I don't have our IDs. So <laughs> obviously we don't have experience with breweries. We are with not breweries and bars. Brewery. What is Bar-ries. a brewery? <laughs> a brewery. Is there two R's? Brewery. 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 That's really, a weird I word. really have a hard time saying it. Um but brewery. the funny thing about this is the event was not in the bar or brewery. Par- I'm just not going to say that word. It, <laughs> it wasn't in like that part room. of it. It was in a room in the back. And we Lo and I are standing in. there, 27 and 30, with two kids. I'm going, 29. Don't give me 30 yet. Uh, I know, but you're I have another that. two you're, months. I know, but we're 29 or 30th. So basically. <laughs> Plus, I'm rounding up to make this sound better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to sound older. <laughs> but we're standing there, two kids, and... He just goes, you can't go in. And we look at him, tell him we're not going to drink. We're not here to drink. We're just here for that event in the back. I know. Can you just let us in? They're super strict in Utah, I guess. It I've never sense. been to I a guess bar, they have to make sure. But, or a brewery. A brewery. <laughs> yeah. But um, I guess, yeah, you have to have an ID to just get in. So <laughs> the fact that we didn't. He we looked drove at us literally weird. an hour. Yeah. We did. We drove literally an hour to get there. And so I was a little bit sad and bummed out when we couldn't get in. You were being a baby. I know. I was sulking. I was just like, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm really we sad. Needed a I was so excited. I had gotten so ready for this event. It, it would have been dress. really fun. The owner had to come out and hug us at the door yeah. and he was super nice about it. But I know we're dumb for not bringing our IDs. Yeah. Too. I felt really bad about that. that. And so then I was bummed out and I, and we were all starving. So we decided to go to cheesecake factory as one does there was like an hour wait so we're just walking in the mall and um tanner passed by claire's and was like i should just get my ear pierced and (laughs) so out just (laughs) throws it out there and i was like a thousand percent yes like this is gonna change my day around i'm gonna be so excited and happy and I'm not going to be sad anymore from missing this event if you get yours first. <laughs> and so we all hyped him up. And he's been wanting to do it since we were Bill and Donna from Mamma Mia. We dressed up as them for Halloween a few years ago. And I put a fake little silver hoop in his ear for, for t- when he was Bill. And I was like, that is really cute on you. And he loved it. And ever since then, we've kind of joked about him getting an earring and so it kind of came to fruition this it, day it did and <laughs> the funniest thing for me to watch about this is tanner walking into claire's it's yes purple pink i picture my childhood yes he had to sit in the chair raised up in claire's. honestly a rite Not of even... passage is getting your ears pierced in claire's so i'm so happy he had that yeah experience. He, he couldn't jump straight to icing no there's, there's no way no i was just talking to sarah about this but like do you remember that moment of being a Claire's girl, Claire's kid, and then feeling the maturity step in and you're an icing girl. This is, this is the jump from kid to teen. Yeah. To yes. You're, you're (laughs) a kid and you're feeling great. And then all of a sudden one day you wake up and you're an icing girl Mm -hmm. and you're an icing teen and you're so mature. You can no longer go back to Claire's. You can no longer go back to Claire's, but you had, Claire had its day. Well, Claire, Claire walked so you could run to <laughs> so icing. icing could help you in the end. <laughs> but the funniest but, part is that Tanner is in Claire's, not icing yeah, or t- even a tattoo shop where yeah, they do piercings. Anywhere else, just, but just Claire's. We had to do, we had to do Claire's. It was, it was really great. And I think we'll take Ozzy there soon anyway. So it's cute that he got to go there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. And Ozzy's reaction was the sweetest. She cutest. just smiling so big. She made her so happy. So mm-hmm. anyway, we go in there. Tanner's a nervous Nelly. He's so scared to get his ears pierced. And he just did, ended up doing one, but it was just really funny. Cause he just, you could see he was so nervous. Yes. <laughs> he didn't flinch though. No, he didn't flinch at all. At all. But the funniest part is he obviously wants to get a hoop in. Yeah. They only had diamonds or a silver ball yeah. or a gold ball. So he, so he has a little stud. He has a little <laughs> silver stud. Yep. It was so funny. He's got a heel and then he'll switch it out for the little tiny hoop, which yeah. is going to be cute. It looks really good on him though. His haircut plus his earring has honestly changed his personality. Yeah. Um, Derek... The other funniest part about this is Derek is in Claire's and he goes, man, he's going to look so 
okay. He's like pacing around. He's waiting. If somebody would have told Derek in that moment, you should do it too. He would have done he, it. He probably would have done That's it. That's the vibe I got is yes. that he was like dying mm-hmm. that Tanner was doing this. Well, even <laughs> after we're driving somewhere else just together and he goes, we're going on a trip to Alabama in May all together yes. to go to a concert. And he goes, oh my gosh, Tanner is going to look so so good with his crop top and his cowboy hat and his little hoop earring. And I, I was dying. And then apparently Derek texted Tanner and said, how does it feel to be superior waking up today? <laughs> superior to everything. He's like, I've just been thinking about him waking up with his so earring sweet. and his, he has his crop top. So he's just, it's fantasizing. So he's fantasizing about him. Yeah. It's oh, so it's funny. cute. I honestly won't be surprised if Derek ends up getting one honestly I don't he know. should have done it same day because tanner only used one of the two earrings that he bought he could have just doubled 50 <laughs> percent off it. baby my gosh yeah that would have been smart so tanner really just changed that day <laughs> we got to show all of our like family and friends and it was really funny to see everyone's reactions the yes. wide eyes and then oh cute <laughs> yeah that was mom uh lo's mom's my mom. reaction she was like oh my gosh and then she's like well it's cute <laughs> so sweet my mom <laughs> we were at my house later that night and my mom goes she goes oh do you like it and she says i don't like the ball I don't like the I ball, don't like the ball. <laughs> <laughs> i love her honesty she's so very honest very blunt but she did say, I think a hoop would be better. Yeah. But she's you can like just hoop tell. <laughs> I don't like the ball. I don't like the just ball. So- <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, she says it how it is. It's fine. Yeah, I love it. Mm. Oh my gosh. There's your, there's eyelashes on this. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> can we get a zoom? <laughs> this is Sarah's blanket. Not I, mine. Okay. You know what's so funny about that? Is Look at the two eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> Were you like, I don't have fake eyelashes in right now. I thought for Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Are they everywhere? I love that they're just sitting. Why are they on the blanket? I guess I sleep with that blanket at night. So I wonder if they rubbed off. But. That's funny. That. Why am I so embarrassed by that? <laughs> 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 so i i'm not really i think i did you rip them I'm, out i think i ripped a few out while we were watching a show <laughs> they lasted they're supposed to last a week and i put them on for our valentine's date thinking it'd be fun i never really do fake eyelashes i don't have any in right now but thought it'd be fun they're supposed to last a week and i pulled them i started pulling them out oh, one no. came out on my pillow and i guess a few you came out on my blank prizes right here why is that sending me okay moving on <laughs> this is my eyelashes to keep me company keep me warm at night can you take them off i'm not touching them. Take them off. <laughs> okay oh, that's really well good. Um, there are not really any updates in my life with derek if you guys derek, didn't know yeah. he he got surgery i was gonna go into the whole spiel about how he fell and stuff but you guys knew, maybe you don't even know why but he had to get a knee surgery beginning of February. This is his second one. So he had one back in May. Was it May? I think it was May or June. 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 And um, this is a second surgery because the first time the first surgery didn't work. And he has to be on crutches and in a brace for six weeks. So mm. he can't do anything. He can't help me with the kids. He can't do any of his hobbies. He's just stuck. So. Yeah really sad but he keeps falling we want to take him out and get him doing more normal things but every time we take him out he keeps, he falling. keeps falling so this last week he just even at the house fallen. yeah there was one time he and it's never it's not his fault he will just be crutching around and one time he his crutch was on a lens cap and yeah. it slid across the floor lauren had to hold him up but he, he like still, fell and put all his pressure on his foot and then i went and grabbed him and then Sarah came over. We had to like help him up. Yep. And he keeps thinking that maybe it's torn again. I just can't even bear to think like Mm-mm. that because I do not want to do a third surgery. Mm-mm. It's such a long time for him to just be out of commission and it sucks for him. It sucks yeah. for me. So, but he's done that three times in the last and week. And he's not supposed to put any, any pressure, pressure on for, for six, six weeks. weeks. Nothing. So, like he's saying that it's like hurting in the same spot. And so I, yeah. we're just praying, hoping mm-hmm. that 
it has not yeah slipped or ripped send good again. vibes to us yeah even the other night when tanner got his hair cut and his earring we were <laughs> what a day <laughs> what a day <laughs> he was dropping us back off at the house and grabbing ozzy and Derek was trying to climb over this little buggy that we have in our garage with his crutches could have had us move it but it's not his fault slipped again luckily tanner was there caught him fully both the crutches went down oh my and gosh. then i come and help him again and he put more pressure on it just pray for us I just don't want him to fall anymore yeah i hope that it's still attached mm-hmm. to his mm-hmm. knee i do hope that <sighs> as well okay that's so. my only update we're going to just say that it is. Let's just say it's a little sore and that I'm hoping let's just hope and pray. So Yeesh. give us an update once he calls the doctor. Yeah. But yes, he is going to be calling him tomorrow. So yeah, next pod. Yes. Okay. Well, I think we should hop into some confessions. Um, yeah. Like I said before, this has been a dream of mine to kind of do this. I think it's <laughs> so fun and a little scary. Oh, some of these um. were... <laughs> They're out of, they're out of this oh world. Oh my goodness. Um, so I'm going to have a little Sarita start us off. Okay. Starting off strong. This okay. one says, I purposefully didn't take my birth control to get pregnant with my first baby. I haven't ever told anyone, not even my husband. <sighs> That's, well. I think I it's think, better that he doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. I, I think you, I don't think you should be on the same page with your husband if a child is going to be involved. Mm-hmm. It's such a huge, life huge commitment. Change. Such a life change. Such a huge commitment. If one of the two is not wanting that. Or not ready. Or not ready. That is obviously now, hopefully if the baby's here, I'm sure he'll have no regrets. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, definitely you want to have be on the same page as that. <laughs> I agree. I do know some people <laughs> though that I've heard a friend of a friend mm-hmm. <laughs> that they just thought their husband would never be ready. And so they just in a way ripped, this is just the other side of yeah. it. Not that I agree, but ripped the mandate off for Holy. that. But I do agree that I think it's a decision you should both be on board with. Yeah. I think they can get on board, but I definitely, <clears throat> <laughs> I don't so know about that. It's so I don't know. He still that. doesn't know. Yeah, they just and I don't know if you should ever say because maybe that would. I don't know what that maybe would not. do. I don't I, know. Maybe just keep that keep that confession to yourself yeah. and all these anonymous people that are now. Luckily, known. it's anonymous. Nobody yeah. will know. Oh man. <laughs> okay, so this one says: Once I was about to get in the shower, and I was just looking at myself in the mirror, and I farted, and pooped on the bath mat. I picked it up with my hands and flipped the mat over and nobody ever knew. Um, There's okay. so many things wrong with this. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. But <laughs> you could have, number one, grabbed uh, some toilet paper sitting next to the toilet, picked it up, put it in the toilet, taking the bath mat. It's super normal to wash bath mats. Don't flip it over just so that you don't have to... This is I'm what sorry. I'm saying. There's poop on the other side of your bath mat and, and you're okay with it. stinky winky up in the bathroom all the time. <laughs> They're like, why does your bathroom always smell? Because there's molding poop on the other side of it. Yes. Or you could, number two, throw the bath mat away, buy a new one. That might Nobody, be a better option. And you could so just say, hey, I just wanted a new one. It's getting old or whatever. That, oh. She didn't know. She was going to poop. Oh. The, <laughs> the best is like... She's just looking at herself in the mirror. Is this real? And thought, maybe that's straight up. Maybe that's straight up. But she's like looking at herself in the mirror. <laughs> she's like, and then, and then the series of events happen. And I just don't know about that. It's just how it was handled after. I it's, mean, it there's sucks. so many better ways. It sucks that there's number two on the ground. But so is it still to, there? Like to pick it up with your them. hands and then flip it over? No. I think... I'm not trying to roast you here, but I'm just saying they're kind of clean it up and not yeah. with your hands and not leave it. Yucky, yucky. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for telling us. Thanks for trusting us with this information. Oh, gosh. I am really sorry that happened to you. <laughs> you should throw that bath mat away. Oh, man. Okay, so there were a lot of these, at least 20 of these, of people saying, I am... St- 
in a relationship, but I am still in love with my ex or mm. I think about my ex often. Mm. A lot of these were actually in love, like saying I still love my <gasps> ex, but oh, I'm wow. in this relationship and don't know what to do mm-hmm. because I think the ex has moved on. But okay. So I think um, this happens a lot to people. Well, when you're in a current relationship and there's any type of struggle, I can envision people thinking about, because when you remember a past relationship, typically you only remember the good stuff Mm -hmm. and you like to put them up on a pedestal Mm -hmm. and remember all the good times. And it's easy to like do that. Whereas when you're in a current relationship, um, you're just, you're remembering all the little nitty gritty stuff. And so I don't know, maybe they're doing that, but also if you're unhappy in your current relationship, maybe you should break up with him and let him go find somebody else and you can go find somebody that's better for you. Or if that relationship was that much better that you can't get it out of your head, maybe Maybe. reevaluate that. Exactly. I don't know. It's it's just a frequency thing for me. I think it's normal to think about past relationship, past relationship, especially if it's an ex that you were in love with that, that leaves a mark, your first love or something. I think that's normal to look back on. Yeah, in yeah, the beginning but of I think maybe if it goes on, like you shouldn't be thinking about that daily. Yeah, maybe whoever these people are that are saying these, because I got quite a few, you might be better off with someone else. Maybe, if, or, maybe that's a sign that you're not super fulfilled yeah. if you have to keep looking or thinking for something else. Yeah, that could be. And it. IMO, <laughs> <laughs> IMO. Um, going along with this, this one says, "I made out with my ex this Valentine's Day." Okay. Which is uh, spicy. Does she have a boyfriend currently? I see. And I don't know if she has or he <laughs> has a boyfriend currently, but kind of if spicy. They, if they have a boyfriend or girlfriend currently, they should definitely break up with them. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if this is a cheating situation yeah. <laughs> here. Um, if not. Uh, kind of spicy. Are, what are you wanting? Yeah. Like, do you want to rekindle things? Like, what's the goal mm, here? I do have to say this has happened to me. Oh, on a no, holiday, Sarita. <laughs> it actually happened to me on New Year's where I made out with one of my exes, and it was just for funsies. Spicy. It was just for funsies. There was there was no strings attached in this. Okay, but it is funny because we dated for almost it was nine months. So well, how long after you had broken up? Oh, this was a this was like a year and a half. Oh my or two gosh. years because this was in college and we had dated. Yeah. So this was a two, year and a half. A year later. And a half so two was years. there like flirting all night long? Uh, I wouldn't say. The weird, <laughs> okay. The weird, thing was, about, no, the weird thing about this was we broke up. He broke up with me. I knew it was coming. We were kind of mutual that it was coming, but I would say he was the one that broke up with me. Okay. I was devastated. I was so sad it was so hard and he was such a jerk after <laughs> this was the guy that broke up with me. We went to a party. It was a day or two later and kissed some girls in front of me when I was mean. still heartbroken. That's so mean. Yes. Because he just wanted to go. Anyway, we ended up, we were obviously still in the same friend group and we ended up just becoming really good friends and just That's always wild. stayed friends. And we would always joke about how we dated and yeah. it was funny, whatever. And then a year and a half later we're at new year's and so this was in high school and then now you're in college yes and um he i don't think he even he lived up in the mountains somewhere i don't even know but we were hanging out with our couple friends and they were a couple so it was the four of us actually oh you knew what was gonna happen that night i know i don't know know it was okay it was just for fun it was but you knew kind of Okay, this is my question to you. How do you detach like from somebody that you've once loved or whatever, really liked? And then, because I think about my um, first boyfriend mm-hmm. in in junior high, high mm-hmm. school, it, my first, you know, love. And then he became quite the jerk. Quite. A, quite. Definitely a jerk uh-huh. and was so mean, but I still, it was like really you hard for me. to to distance yourself and if he yes. would have and if I would have stayed around him, or something yeah like how did you do that oh well honestly I just 
I think it was just the mutualness of we were both exactly on the same page. This was New Year's. This was, we were watching a movie. It was literally for fun. Yeah. And I don't know if that makes me like, I don't know. I think we just both knew. And he was kind of rude to me before that. And then we were friends and it was just fun. You kissed, but there was literally zero feelings for you. Yeah. I did not want to pursue anything after. No. No. And it it was just funny. We were in different phases. Not my finest moment, but hey, it was just no, New I mean, Year's. It's it was fun. You can have whatever. Fun. And didn't have a boyfriend, so why Did not? he ever say after that I, that he was interested or is it just like... No, but I, he, he, all of his know. friends did joke about, oh, he always says like he wish and all these things. But yeah. I, I don't know. I, that never came from him yeah. either. So it's just funny to look back. And the funny part about this is when we were dating, I thought he was a really good kisser. And then I had had these other boyfriends and and kisses in between yes. and then going back to this new year's night i w- did not think he was a good kisser <laughs> and i was wondering did he completely change is this me changing I it was wonder, so funny. or maybe because you just didn't like him like that anymore i don't it know it was just anymore. such a different thing weird and I'm, I'm wondering if it was the same kissing or is this different yeah but was it not like i remember oh it. my god it was still fun but it wasn't like <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe it's because we didn't yeah have any feelings anyway oh. moving on from that but it's kind of spicy to rekindle spicy. that but it's nothing sarita oh, okay man. that's my confession <laughs> this is my confession you got a confession though i don't think i have a confession let me think nope i don't have one right now <laughs> okay. on the top of my head oh i do have one oh when i was in high school speaking of new year's kisses oh my gosh so i was forbidden to see said boyfriend that turned into jerk <laughs> yes i was my mom had kind of forbidden me to see him because she should. could see you know the dark sides of this guy mm-hmm. and so she was kind of like you're not you're not gonna hang out with him you're done you can't date him anymore you're kind done. of a thing and so what on new year's one year i can't remember what year it was but he and i had a kiss a new year's kiss and somebody at the party ratted it out to my mom why can you believe that? that i'm like who in who the is talking age to your mom went to my mom and made sure that they that she knew it well i'm like in the end it doesn't matter now yeah but in the moment i was like who yes is my age yes. cares this much about yes. i have a kiss a, and it was not even it was like a pet a like peck. straight up a peck let and, the girl be. And then she, my mom was so mad at me. And then, yeah, I was just, I, I was feel very bummed. strongly about this because this exact thing happened to me. And to this day, my mom won't tell me who ratted me out. Huh. But if you've watched our other episodes, you know, um, I was not allowed to hang out with boys until I was 16 years old. And there was a little party get together that was going on in my neighborhood. My parents are good friends with the parents of these people. Yeah. And I, we were just hanging out with my girlfriends and I thought it'd be fun to stop by at the party. Yeah. We were there for probably 45 minutes to an hour before we just hung out with the girls again. Mm-hmm. Nothing happened and someone ratted me out. I know. And I got grounded on Halloween for this. It's like it's like a girl that's so mad or jealous or something and then she won't tell me who it is and it still drives it's me nuts. It's so bizarro. Just let I don't get live. that. Don't be rats. Just kidding. Don't be a rat. Anyway, um okay <laughs> let's see this one i've seen quite a few times i helped my boy best friend get the prettiest girlfriend but secretly liked him for years oh and i have seen a lot heart. of these secret just, loves for people that yes, are in other it's a bummer because i feel like with boy or any when there's when there's like a relationship with somebody it's always like there could be one person that is interested like a boy and a girl they say that they can't be friends and i think that that's somewhat true like you can't necessarily if you're both single and you spend time with each other a lot and you become best friends that'd be really really hard for one person to not catch feelings Mm -hmm. i just it's kind of i get that i agree with that because in high school we at least for me and probably for you too have a lot of guy friends and it's hard to be friends with the yeah the it's hard to be friends without somebody catching a little bit of feelings yeah. it yeah. really is i and feel so for that so the confession is she likes the 
She or likes the best friend the and best she's friend. set him up with a really pretty girl and, and they're together. And so she has to watch that. And there <laughs> are the girl. Oh no. Are the girls friends? I don't know. She said she helped. She said, I helped my boy best friend get the prettiest girlfriend. So I'm assuming she knew the girl. <sighs> I was going to uh, say if they aren't friends, I'm kind of, and they're not married or engaged. Yeah. I'm kind of an, a believer of you should tell people how they feel. So no, but, but at the same I don't want to ruin that. But just at the same so, time, it's hard because maybe the guy but if, knows. And if he was interested, maybe. OK, but said. what if this is my fear in this? I never want a, someone to ruin a relationship. Yeah. But if they go on, what if he had the same feelings, just didn't think it was a possibility because they were friends. Mm-hmm. And then though those other two get married and she has to live with the fact that she never told him said. of what could have been. Yeah. I just think everything needs to be said. Yeah, for sure. I think <laughs> that if you really feel a draw to him I guess and want what to is, be with what him, is the yeah, level? What's, what's the level of <sighs> love? Is it love? Yeah. If it's love, then. And are they, where are the, where's the couple at? Are they, are they getting engaged? Cause then it's, I don't know. I don't know. Sticky. Sticky situation. Sticky. I hate this one. You should you should read that. That's I'm scary. That's scary. Somebody said I stole something from you and still have it. Someone want to elaborate? I don't <laughs> like when people steal. First of all, <laughs> yeah, no stealing. Second of all, that what, who, that's the scariest why? thing I've ever read in my life. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't know. Okay, so this is another stealing one. It says, "When I was little, I stole money from my parents, and one time." They thought it was the cleaner stealing, so they fired her. And in the end, my mom found out that it was me, so basically just don't steal. No. This hurts my heart for the lady that... I think I've seen this in a movie before, where they fire the cleaning lady, and it was the kid. It's too freaking sad. You gotta step up. That's her whole job. Right then and there, you say, okay, mommy, it was me. Right then, so that they don't fire. Don't fire her. That's that too breaks sad. my heart. That is her job. That is how she's supporting herself or her family, and that breaks my heart. But obviously, they learned a valuable lesson from this mm-hmm. for the rest of their life. I doubt they're gonna steal money yeah. or do that again. But my heart breaks for that's the sad. cleaner lady I just know. doing her job and getting fired for something she didn't do. I know that's really sad. This one says, I'm still in contact with my toxic ex, even though I told everyone I blocked him. I've been there. But, okay. If you say that he's he's toxic, toxic, get get out. Just get out. Just, they're not going to change. No. There's somebody else And if they're toxic and you guys are just in a dating stage, it's only going to get worse. Mm -hmm. That's my two cents. Yes. Don't Run from wait that. for them to change because I don't know about that. And people around you, family members, close friends are usually right. Yes. Their instincts because they can see it from an outside perspective. Yeah. Even though you, it's frustrating and you feel mm-hmm. like you should just And you feel like you need to defend. And whatever. If you're saying toxic ex, let's find when somebody else. When you use the word, there there's, are other guys. Just know there's a billion, million guys out there. You deserve better. You deserve better. We're telling you. Okay, this one says, I got involved with someone years ago and he has some ties with some very, very scary people. I keep trying to break it off, but he's obsessed with me. This is kind of the same thing. Yeah. But the ties with the scary scary. people is throwing me off. Yeah. You need need some help. Yeah, I might think you need to tell somebody because... That's scary. If you're worried about what he'll do or... Yeah. I think that's serious Mm -hmm. and if he has it seems like you're kind of scared by yeah if that's a scary situation just and if he's obsessed with you i i this doesn't sound like the obsession in a good way this is sounding like you scary kind of way i don't know yeah maybe take it to the authorities i don't know oh my gosh you want to hear this one yes my brother-in-law tried to have sex with me He started touching me. We were alone at home and I froze. I was terrified. He told my sister about it and she forgave him. Now I have to see him for the rest of my life. No. Mm. (laughs) The scary world. I'm sorry. That is terrible. And then the fact that you're literally family with them. Seeing him. 
oh, around. Freak. And that would be sister. so hard for the sister. Imagine she has to come to the dinner and know that your husband did that. To your sister. To your sister, the in-law that's <gasps> sitting on the table. This is so bad. It was her actual sister? Yes. Oh my god! Yes, this is sister and sister. Blood. Ew, uh, this guy's gotta. I don't know how gotta. you forget. Like, that is... Uh, that's up there. How do, it's not just a random girl. That's your sister and... Mm-mm. Also, I wonder if the sister that's saying this confession, she feel a little betrayed or was this, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That the sister just was, okay, I forgive you. Oh, but, freak. That's terrible. And then terrible. the sister feels weird every time she sees. Oh, that's so bad. Ooh. Ooh yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was shocking. <laughs> this one's just kind of funny. It says, I don't like giving my husband blowjobs. <laughs> Just short, it's like short, it. short, sweet, and to the point. <laughs> I think probably some other girls would agree. I with think you. there's. <laughs> I think you could rally with some other. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> That's really That's funny. Just kind of funny. This one says, "I married for a second time." When in reality, I wish I never divorced my ex-husband of twenty years. Three kids later, I have guilt every day. These are just sad. That's a bummer. These are just sad. All Ugh. these, there's so many. I guess take comfort in knowing that there are so many confessions like this. Yeah. You're not alone, but I don't know how you get over the guilt of that because it's just, it is what it is. Yeah. Kind of made the, the choice. Yeah. <laughs> That's really sad. Dang, it's so and I sad. Wonder if the, I wonder if the husband has moved on yeah. as well. If he hasn't, maybe, maybe run back to him. I know. Mm. Dang. Then you have the kids together. Mm-hmm. At that, you know, is a thing. Yeah. With kids involved, it's a whole other. You got to think about the kids and. Yeah. Oh, hard. Okay. This one says, my boyfriend at the time, um, we were going through a breakup. I was so upset that he wanted to end things after years of being together. I brought all of his stuff to his place and I was so mad when I was leaving. I ended <laughs> I ended up <laughs> Oh no. I ended up hitting him with my car in his driveway. It's fine. We're married now and we laugh about it. No. <laughs> oh, we also, laugh about your you foot remember? just literally <laughs> <laughs> flew into the frame and flew off. <laughs> I just saw your toe go whoosh. <laughs> wait that's so funny uh, you probably wondered why i was laughing when i said i hit him with my car yeah. and you're like sarah you're just being like, a little morbid um, <laughs> wait no. the fact that they can laugh about her hitting him with a, with a car she hit him with she the was, car and now they're married and wait, they so she laugh. purposefully hit him in the with the car because she uh, was mad at him yeah sir never make what your wife do? angry what did he do <laughs> I don't know. how funny is that i hit him with my car and now we're married that's <laughs> so funny <laughs> that one made me laugh it's oh like, that's because i the first time i read it i was scared yeah then you hit the end and that's that's why i was laughing crazy it's kind, of, kind of funny that's really crazy oh man but don't hit your husband don't with cars. hit your husband's with cars. Don't hit anyone that with is not car. funny in that sense oh it was my. just it was the not the ending end i was expecting yeah i thought it was just gonna be i hit him with my car end of story we yeah. don't talk about it they're just married and laugh about it now oh my gosh <sighs> I've been drinking out of my family's milk carton for the past eight years and they don't know. <laughs> That's just a, like a funny, <laughs> just so innocent. Yeah. Little bop bop. Gonna drink out of the jug. This baby. is like in the same realm. I tasted my earwax one day. It was no. salty and quite bitter. No. Just one of those. Didn't have to tell me, but thanks for telling me. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna throw up ew what made you want to do that ew uh, oh man this one is a little more on the uh heavy side it says my ex-husband tried to lock me in our house he abused me physically and i wanted to get out of that relationship but my parents forced me to stay because of religion three months later i got out from that relationship and filed for divorce i started dating again my forever sweetheart and we are so happy oh good she found somebody okay no if First of all, why that, are the parents getting involved? And second of all, if someone's hurting your child, you're done. Done. End you're of story. Out. I don't care who you are. I don't care what your religion is. You're done. If you have kids, you get them away. Oh, that is so shocking that to me. That 
the Ugh. parents would not protect. Yeah, instantly no. no. Instantly you're done. That hurts my heart for you. And I'm, I'm so, so glad sad. that I'm you so glad didn't you listen to your else. parents and you got out Gosh. and you're happy now. Good, oh. happy ending. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is very interesting. Do you want to hear this one? Yeah. My husband and I at the time bought our first home a few years ago. Several months later, he came out as transgender. Needless to say, our marriage came to a close, and I started having the most passionate and best sex of my life with our neighbor that lived across from us. <laughs> Get a girl, as long as that neighbor's single. <laughs> yeah, as long as they're not married or in a relationship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is such a whirlwind. Wow. Also, I like a happy ending. It's, I love that she's just... <laughs> Went from being married, her life gets flipped upside, upside down, down, and she starts having sex with the neighbor. That is pretty wild. That well, is pretty wild. But she's saying it's the best. Well, good. I'm good glad. for you. More power to you. Yeah. Unless he's married. Yeah. <laughs> then you're Step done. Step away. <laughs> <laughs> then you're done. I got some Alabama, Arkansas, from the South Shiz, if you want to hear it. I do. Okay. <laughs> okay, go for it. It says, I had a crush on my cousin, who I've never met, but we met at a wedding and he was, had the hots for me. We hooked up and later got to know that we were cousins. Wait, this one kind of goes along with this. I've had sex with my cousin when we were like 16. We were so drunk. We're 30 now and we act like it never happened. <gasps> so they knew. Yes. They knew. You can't do that. Can you imagine? Oh, <laughs> Like I know it's a thing. To have little crushes on your older cousins or whatever, but that, that shakes me. Shakes so fear. Scary. Of course you act like it never happened. <laughs> cousins. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. my gosh. That is, um, geek. Geek, geek. Somebody said, my boy is serving a mission and is almost home. I went on a date with my ex and realized there's still a spark there. Oh, oh. this sounds like the beginning of low story. Ah, ah. <laughs> Two men. Two men. Oh. One girl. <laughs> if you need advice, just come just to this girl trust right your here. gut. Trust your gut. That's all I can say. Trust your gut. That's good advice. <laughs> trust your gut and stick to your decisions, baby. I mean, there was a few of these. I messed up with my sister's boyfriend. Yeah, this one says, I like my sister's boyfriend. That's, it's too bad. I, it's, it That's sucks. too bad. Go find somebody else. There's other men. I promise you, there are so many fish in the sea. You just like him because that's, you don't you've been around him. You don't want to ruin the relationship you have with your Stop sister it. over a guy. Yeah, no. But that does suck. What if they truly feel like that is the guy for me? Can't. I no, can't. It's just a code. There's but a code, if, especially sister code. Oh, man. Maybe if they break up and there's been years in between, you have a conversation with your sister and then she gives you the okay. Years. I don't years. know about that. We're talking I, about I, years. I don't know. Like maybe if the sister breaks up with them and then doesn't care, moves on, then you yeah. can say your piece with her. Yeah. I don't know. Messy. This one's just funny. I put Nair in my <gasps> friend's I shampoo just, bottle. Okay, that is so messed up. That is hair is is important, but I just don't, don't get why do would that. you do that to your friend? Then you're not her friend, no. and that's mean. That is mean. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. It's not funny. <laughs> um. Okay, this one is crazy. Okay, me and my husband, they've been married two years, are still virgins. He says he wants to wait for it to be special and wait for their first time to try for a baby. She said, I was okay with it at first, but now I feel like I'm missing out. What do I do? First of all, run. Is it I'm possible? Sorry. Is it possible that he doesn't like women? Because that's what I'm, that is not real. That is, I'm so sorry, but there's something there's something wrong, wrong there. There, I don't think that. You've been married for two years. I really don't think that you should be together. And I think you might think it's normal, but it's not. It's not normal. I'm so sorry. That is so... I'm so sorry. That is terrible. Yeah, what? Oh, Because, okay, I'm just... A boy has to be getting filled somehow, at least in my opinion. And I just... 
if it's been two years and he and just he wants, says that he wants to wait till it's special, a baby. That seems a little manipulative. Special to night me. would be when or your wedding, your wedding night, night or you any kidding? day after or literally. Um, I would not. It sounds a little manipulative to me. Just um, saying that it's trying to make you think it's about you being special and having a special night and yeah, when or trying for a kid. That's super strange. Yeah. I would talk to somebody, maybe yeah. talk to a therapist with him. I think you could find somebody that would love you in that way. Love you in that way. And you deserve that. And you deserve that. Two years is, I applaud That's you for being so patient. Crazy. That's mm-hmm. crazy. Yikes. Yikes. Okay. This one says, <laughs> I'm secret. Oh my gosh. I'm secretly in love with my brother-in-law. He told me he feels the same. Not sure what to do. Don't want two marriages to end to start a new one. Oh, my gosh. (gasps) No. What do you, what is that? What do you do with that? You just don't. You You just just shut it down. Yeah. But, wow. The, The feelings have been reciprocated. What do you do at that point? It's mm. not just like she, because it sounds like, okay, she's secret, and she used the word in love, in love, and he feels the same. I don't know about that. I don't know, but it's not going to end well either way. <sighs> I feel for you. That is, no, I feel for their partners. The, no, yeah, but do the? I don't think the partners know. Yeah. This is a secret. It says not That's sure what so to do. Depressing. Don't want two marriages to end to start a new one. But then it's like if you're hanging out all the time with the couples, they deserve, do they just, they deserve to know or do you just, I guess, yeah, that's my question. I don't know what you do with that. You just don't fall in love with your (laughs) brother-in-law. You just, like, you're already too deep. (laughs) You did the thing that you don't do. Like, you don't cross certain lines and boundaries when you're married. You just don't. Yeah. Uh, But I think she's looking for advice. I don't have advice. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you done did it now <laughs> she does not have words oh, for you i just I truly know. that just um, but do the do the other people deserve to know or do they just push it aside for the rest of time either you and your husband move far away and you don't spend time with them anymore or you decide that you're gonna tell them and you ruin two marriages and that's it I think that's the two options. Like you just can't Move far away. Yeah. Does she? Yeah. The question is, does she still love her current husband or don't what? Two marriages to end to start a new one. It sounds like she, I don't know what wants. Also maybe just tell your husband that you <laughs> maybe leave your husband so he can find somebody who's not in love with his brother-in-law. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're let stumped. him find somebody We're else stumped. we don't know what to do i don't know <laughs> i'm sorry uh, I, I just i guess sorry about that but you did i'm dumb, sure she it. wishes that this didn't happen i don't you know just, you, you can kind of choose you can kind of choose what you love <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, moving on okay um let's see <laughs> <laughs> i just found this one i stole a keychain from claire's in the second grade and it still haunts me is this derek is this my husband <laughs> he was a keychain he was stealer. a keychain he stole when a keychain when he right? was young very very little this very much could be derek gosh typing Our, that he stole from claire's. claire's that's so funny <laughs> that you is, could you know what you could really do funny. is go and pay for it today make yourself feel better yeah Go yeah. in, buy. If, it, if you're still feeling guilty about that, just go in. Buy, buy a keychain, but don't take but the don't, keychain. Or don't pay for it. Yeah. There you go. Options. <laughs> Option. Um, this one says, I'm scared that I won't love my daughter that's due this summer as much as I love my son. Okay. We all had that fear. Mm-hmm. But somehow, some way, your, your heart, heart gets bigger like the Grinch. Like you have <laughs> a heart for each child. Uh-huh. I don't know how to describe yeah, it. You love them equal. And I promise you. 
yeah. you'll just and I, you can't I imagine will, life without either yes, of them like you and just it's the can't. weirdest thing because i think every mom has that fear because mm-hmm. you love your first so much and mm-hmm. you've had all this time with them but it just happens you yeah. just love them the same um i had that exact same fear because i love jack so much and yeah. then i was having a girl and i definitely thought okay, how could I love someone just as much as I love Jack? And you just do. You, you just love do. Him. I will say, though, that I think kids go through phases of being, not that you have a favorite kid, but sometimes one is really hard, and, but you always love them the same. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. It'll happen for you, too, I promise. If you love your son, you'll love your daughter. It says, the guy my best friend is obsessed with asked me out, and it was the funnest day ever, and we're going out again, and I haven't told her. That one hurts. That hurts. Because it's I, not her fault. It's not her fault. And I think if they have a really good thing, I then she if just she's a good friend. Her, she should be she happy. should let you just go. But, but man, obsessed that is with sad. that's hard for yeah, that, that friend. Hard. Yeah. Hopefully she can find another but if they're really just hitting it off, I feel like there's you just, nothing. You can't, you can't shut it down because of no. that. And it's just all Especially in the beginning if they haven't phases. dated. They haven't dated. Yeah. Yeah. kind of fair game it and it, it's whoever he likes more i would say yeah oh that kind of happened with derek and one of our friends he one of derek's friends liked me originally when we were hanging out mm. but he's still one of like he's still one of our best friends today yeah and it's not weird and he just could see that derek and i clicked really well and just sometimes, was a great friend and let it happen and sometimes that happens it and just if they're happens. good friend they'll stick around exactly um let's this one see. says i feed my boogers to my dog i saw that one dead, too with a dead face the skeleton hey, i got one of those too more than one well, that's disgusting do dogs like boogers is that good for them is there no, something don't we need to that. know here maybe you please don't do that um let's see <gasps> this one's kind of juicy this one says i'm in love with the boy i work with and i have known for 12 plus years but don't have the courage to confess my my liking to him because i'm scared of his dad who is my boss oh wait she likes the it's son, a co-worker it, and it, then they she doesn't both wanna... work there and the boss is the boy's dad oh so she doesn't want to tell the boy because mm-hmm. she's scared of the boss of the, his dad hmm i think you should tell the boy yeah <laughs> I could give you a really easy fix right now. I think you should tell the boy. I think you should tell the boy. And if the boy's normal, then it'll be totally fine. Totally dandy. Yeah. And maybe she just loves her job so yeah. much that she doesn't want to jeopardize her job. Because mm-hmm. the, that's true. If the coworkers are liking each other in the office, that's the boss true. might not like it. I could see that. Yeah. I get it. And the boss is his dad, which makes it maybe even scarier. I get it. But mm. yeah. I get it. But tell the boy. Tell the boy. <laughs> I love a love story. <laughs> This one's just kind of a funny sibling confession. It says, one time I was super angry at my brother, and so I decided to roll myself down the stairs and tell my mom that he pushed me. He got grounded for a month. I'm now 35, and my mom still doesn't know. If I was that, I would... <laughs> Wait, what? The fact that she rolled herself down the oh stairs. Oh, my gosh. Get some bruises, some bumps, and that then blames so the brother, bad. and the brother's like... I, I didn't, didn't do, do it. That. That's grounded crazy. for a month. That's you a should long tell time. Your mom. How did she not feel so guilty when he was grounded every day for a month? Dang. There's no way I could have held that's that a in. Crazy sibling rivalry right yeah. there. Yeah. The fact that she's 35 and still hasn't told the mom. I feel like I've told my mom. Actually, never mind. That's such a lie. I haven't told her anything. <laughs> but I feel like something like that, that's if you're still close to your sibling, is something normal to yeah. tell. <laughs> sometimes i buy a pint of ben and jerry's ice cream when my husband's at work eat it all throw it away in the dumpster before he gets home to make him think i'm still being healthy <laughs> she throws away the he throws away the ben and jerry's in the dumpster so he doesn't know oh if that's your biggest I, secret like yeah hey, you're honestly good. you're doing good you're good, <laughs> good. she throws away the ice cream <laughs> I don't feel like leave a trace. Have, like a little bit of that. Like, like yeah, no, I didn't eat all like that. Like, today, you're like so good, it's so good, <laughs> super healthy. Because the funny thing with girls is, I think we always have a moment where we tell our husbands, "I'm gonna eat so, so healthy. healthy. I'm no gonna treats be so for me. fit. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna. This is my new fit era." And then that's funny. You know, sometimes we don't make that. Sometimes we don't hit that. Yep. Oh, that's that's a good one. 
Okay, this one's pretty crazy. I drunk hooked up with my boyfriend Jake's elder brother Josh in sophomore year of college at a sorority party only to find out the next day that Jake had cheated with some girl at the same party. Eight years later, I'm married to Josh with a baby boy whose godfather is Jake. Life Wait, is I'm confused. Wild. I'm kind of confused Say too. Say it again. I'm, okay, I had a really address. hard time following that. I drunk hooked up with my boyfriend Jake's older brother josh so her boyfriend is jake okay she so hooks up jake at she the time. hooks up with she the older josh. brother josh wow. at a sorority party okay only to find out the next day that jake had cheated had on cheated her on too her at so they the both party. cheated on each they other they cheated on each other at the party the oh, same party my gosh that they were at first of all why are you not with your person at the party if yeah it's the same party but then eight years later She's married to the older brother. Josh, who she... Who she hooked up with hooked at up the with. party. Not the boyfriend. Yeah. And Jake is the godfather. Weird. Uh, well, I guess they she, mutually she didn't just like said, each other. Life is wild. <laughs> that yeah. is wild. That is wild. Kind of sucks for the other girl. She's just gone. What other girl? Oh, the one that he... <laughs> the had other girl in the story. <laughs> I, I think it's, it's funny that it, it happened. They both had decided, you know, they wanted to move on with new yes. people at the same exact time but how weird is that that you've hooked up with both the brothers that's really weird. like that's really strange yeah because you dated jake you were in a relationship with jake and then hook up with josh and then yeah. you end up marrying josh <laughs> you just like that family that's funny that is crazy but yeah i would say life is wild for sure she ended it with life is wild <laughs> so lo and i both got a submission that said i licked a bug yesterday yeah just throwing that out just, there i licked a bug what kind of bug <laughs> <laughs> why was it a ladybug because some bugs are cuter than other bugs <laughs> what i would want to lick a ladybug i don't want to lick any bug They're i don't yucky. want to but if, come on if the you ladybug, had to lick a bug which one would you lick a ladybug think about it yeah <gasps> a butterfly um <laughs> Just a butterfly. <laughs> yeah, actually, it would be a butterfly for me. Not a but then if I, if not you a lick, sniggly snail. If you lick their wing, they can't fly anymore. So that's oh, sad. not a butterfly. I'd lick the ladybug. Uh-oh. This one says... A uh, roly-poly-oly. <laughs> I love <laughs> roly-poly-olies, but one day uh, there was a little roly-poly-oly in the corner of the house, and I was so excited. I was like, Jesse, to my brother, he's five years older than me, I'm like, come here, there's a roly-poly right here, and I start pointing at it. And I like picked it up and was showing him and he like brought it closer to his face. And he's like, let me see. And he pinched my <gasps> fingers together and smushed the roly poly in between my fingers. That's so mean. I was, I lost it ever since then. I you can't literally can't even. Wait, when that's I, so sad for the little poly. I know. And I was and he. Jesse. Yeah, I know. <laughs> me and Jesse are like best friends, but. Yeah, at the time he was That's probably, traumatizing. Yeah, he traumatized me for show. Yeah, for show. For show, for show. Um, this one says, one time I borrowed and broke my roommate's very unique piggy bank and I was so afraid of confrontation that I found the exact one on eBay for probably triple what it was, bought it and pretended like nothing happened. It was the most stressful week of my life waiting for the new one to arrive. Oh my gosh. But the fact that you took the initiative to find it and buy a new one. That's very that's sweet. That's a good friend. That's very sweet. That's a good friend. That's funny i am taylor swift <laughs> somebody <laughs> said i am taylor swift sorry Just i can't hide it anymore <laughs> i think that, that taylor person swift follows me i think that, that person has a funny sense of humor that Don't you is think? funny like that it's kind of funny Thank you guys so much for joining us for this podcast. It's wrapping up, coming to an end. And we just wanted to thank you for watching and listening. We're so appreciative of all your love and support. And we just love you very much. And we will see you next episode. Bye. Bye.